This video will tell you about AT commands used to find out mobile network registration status. These commands are as follows. CREG, CGREG, and CEREG. So let's look at the first command AT plus CREG question mark. This command will tell you about circuit mode network registration status in GRAN, 2G, UTRAN, 3G, and EUTRAN. 4G LTE. Remember that this command, in other words, tells you the circuit switch to attach over which short message service and voice calls run. The second command is AT plus CG reg question mark, which tells you about the GPRS network registration status in GRAN and UTRAN. In other words, it is a packet switch to attach for 2G and 3G over which the packet connection will run. The third command is AT plus CE reg question mark, which gives EPS network registration status in EU TRAN. It applies only to LTE network, so is applicable only for 4G. These three commands are dual mode, so you can query the command with a question mark or you can enable unsolicited responses. So every time there's a change in the network status, you will be notified through unsolicited responses. This you will again see later here in an example. These commands have the following possible answers. The first answer is 0, means not registered. The next answer is 1, which means registration has happened in home network. When the answer is 2, it means it has not registered but is searching for a network. If the answer is 3, it means registration has been denied and you will be rejected from the network. If the answer is 4, it means unknown status. Or in LPWA networks, it might mean that you have entered PSM mode. When the answer is 5, it means registered roaming. Let's take a look at another command, which is AT plus CG decont question mark. This command helps in setting APN. Remember that for an LTE attach, you need to set a valid APN. If the APN is set incorrectly, it might stop the unit from LTE attaching successfully. The next command is AT plus CGPA DDR equals 1, which will show you the IP address of the PDP context set at CID1 with the command AT plus CG decont, which we will see through an example. Now go to the terminal which is connected to Sierra Wireless WP7607, which is a 4G, 3G, and 2G modem. The AT commands that you will see here are part of the standard AT commands and can be used for any Sierra Wireless product. Let's start with radio stack off and type AT plus CFUN equals zero. After that, set a valid APN by typing AT plus CGDCONT equals 1, quotes IP, comma, quotes, internet, dot, swear. Restart the radio by typing AT plus CFUN equals 1. The next step is to check the APN. For this, type AT plus CGDCONT question mark. You will see this appear on screen. After that, type AT plus COPS question mark you will see the number 7. This means that you have registered in the LTE network. Now you will have to check the AT command for registration status. When you type AT plus CREG question mark, it returns plus CREG colon 0 comma 5. The 5 here denotes that you've registered in roaming. Next, you have to type AT plus CGREG question mark with packet attached. It returns plus CG reg colon 0, 5, where 5 means registered roaming. To initiate the next steps, type AT plus CE reg question mark. It returns plus CE reg colon 0, 5, which means attached to the LTE network, where 5 is registered in roaming. Here, the commands are used with question marks, querying the network status. It is also possible to enable the unsolicited responses for these commands. So, every time there will be a change in the network status, you will be notified on the terminal console and the unsolicited responses will be displayed. 
To enable the unsolicited responses, type AT plus CREG equals 1, then AT plus CGREG equals 1, and AT plus CEREG equals 1, all of which returns OK. Now you have to switch the radio off. For this, type AT plus CFUN equals 0. You will see that for these commands, the answer 0 means not registered and not searching. You will need to enable the radio again. To do that, type AT plus CFUN equals 1. When it returns OK, the terminal will show 2 for CREG, CGREG, CEREG, which means searching for network, and after that, you will also see 5 for the commands, which means registered to roaming. To check the IP address of the LTE bearer, type AT plus CGPADDR equals 1. The IP address of the LTE bearer comes on the terminal. That is the end of the walkthrough. And now you know about the three commands with which you can check the mobile network registration status. For queries or questions, please contact your local FAE.